How to assess and treat infected wounds. Did you know all open wounds are contaminated or colonized with microorganisms? However, not all contaminated wounds become infected. The risk of wound infection depends on the individual, their wound and the environment. In this episode, you will learn more about 1. A tool that covers various stages of microbial presence within the wound. 2. Signs and symptoms of each stage. 3. How to manage the wound based on these stages. The transition from non-infected to infected wounds is often gradual. It's generally agreed that continuous accurate and holistic wound assessment is needed to determine the risk of infection. To help identify and assess infection in wounds, many healthcare professionals use the wound infection continuum during their holistic wound assessment. It's a well-acknowledged educational tool created by the IWII. This tool helps you understand various stages of microbial presence within the wound. It can also support you in making the clinical assessment of wound infection. By understanding the signs and symptoms of each stage and closely following the wound progression, you can create or adjust your treatment plan. 2. Signs and symptoms of each stage IWII Wound Infection Continuum represents various stages of microbial presence in a wound that increases in severity. First stage, contamination. Microorganisms are present within the wound but are not proliferating. This means that the microorganisms are not multiplying at a rapid pace. No delay in healing and no signs of infection are observed. In this stage, the person will not be affected by the microorganisms. Second stage, colonization. Microorganisms are present within the wound and are undergoing limited proliferation. Still, no delay in healing and no signs of infection are observed. In this stage, the person will also not be affected by the microorganisms. Third stage, local wound infection. This stage is characterized by the presence and proliferation of microorganisms within the wound that often include a delay in wound healing. Local infection is contained within the wound and the immediate peri-wound region. In this stage, the microorganisms will invade the tissue and the person's immune system will respond to that. Ask yourself, do you see subtle or classic signs of local wound infection? Remember that any two or more signs indicate local infection. Subtle signs and symptoms, hypergranulation, bleeding, pockets in the tissue, delayed wound healing beyond expectations, classic signs and symptoms, erythema, local warmth, swelling, purulent discharge, wound breakdown, new or increased pain, malodor. Fourth stage, spreading infection. This stage is characterized by the invasion of the surrounding tissue by infective microorganisms that have spread from the wound beyond the wound border. Signs and symptoms may include wound breakdown or breakdown of surrounding areas, inflammation or spreading erythema more than two centimeters beyond the wound edge, thickening and hardening of soft tissue, swelling of lymph glands. Remember, any sign in combination with two or more signs of local infection indicates spreading infection. Fifth stage. Systemic infection refers to the stage where microorganisms spread throughout the body via vascular or lymphatic systems affecting the body as a whole. Signs and symptoms may include malaise, lethargy, loss of appetite, fever, severe sepsis, septic shock, organ failure, death. 3. How to manage the wound based on these stages. You should suspect infection when there are multiple signs and symptoms rather than the presence of any signs and symptoms. Think about how to maximize the person's host defense against infection as part of your holistic wound assessment. Always prepare the wound to remove the barriers that may delay wound healing. In this way, you can reduce the bioburden and the risk of infection as non-viable tissue may serve as a source of nutrients for bacteria. The goal is to prevent new organisms from recolonizing the wound. Use topical antimicrobial treatment to manage wounds showing signs and symptoms of local wound infection. 
Consider the duration and choice of a topical antiseptic based on regular wound assessment and the goals of care for a particular person and their wound. At least two weeks are recommended before evaluating its efficacy in managing wound infection. Use topical antimicrobial treatments in combination with systemic antibiotics for wounds showing signs and symptoms of spreading or systemic infections. To wrap up, continuous accurate and holistic wound assessment is needed to determine the risk of infection. IWII Wound Infection Continuum is a well-acknowledged educational tool. It can support you in making a clinical assessment of a potential wound infection. Closely monitor wound progression and remember to consult a wound care specialist if needed.